Hey everybody, it's Zach. Welcome back to the Heroverse. And guys, this will be Obi-Wan uh, Episode 5 Spoiler Review. Guys, this might be the best episode of Obi-Wan of this season so far. Like, I really liked... Most people are probably going to be shocked at the fact that I would actually put Episode 4 over Episode 3 over the fight that, you know, with Obi-Wan and Darth Vader fighting again after all the year... After those 10 years, people put that episode way before episode uh four but i actually put episode four way over that that episode of uh, obi-wan and darth vader fighting um i because i really like the episode in episode four where like he's going through the inquisitor compound and you know he's taking out all the you know the stormtroopers and he's trying to save leia i love that episode because that's our first you know that's our first look at, of you know at obi-wan like being that jedi master that we know and love from the from the movies and shit um, like, so that's why I loved that episode so much is like, we actually got to see Obi-Wan act like Obi-Wan again. Um, but in this episode, I would probably put this episode probably over episode, um, five, episode four, only for the fact in the beginning of this episode, we start off by seeing Hayden Christensen back as, of course, as Anakin Skywalker. And it's, and it's the same, it's like a, it's back in like, uh, the the clone wars it's like in the clone wars flashback of attack of the clones because you know of course hayden christensen has his hair back in like the braid how he had in attack of the clones and also you know oh you know uh, obi-wan has his mullet like his long mullet hair that he had before so clearly we know it's in the time of attacking the clones aka the clone wars that everybody's been wanting so i just really enjoyed the fact that we got to see that scene of obi-wan and anakin doing training at the jedi temple it was just really nice to see Hayden Christensen back in his outfit, back in the role as Anakin Skywalker and seeing Obi-Wan and him acting like brothers. I just really enjoyed it. It was really nice to see. But then as the time there, like they say, you know, like, are you ready? And then they go, we cut to Darth Vader and Darth Vader is wondering where the third sister is. And, I, and, he, and the, the captain says the Vader third sister's here. And, you know, he wants to know, did you find him? And and of course, you know, uh, you know, uh, Reva is like, yeah, we found him. The tracker is on, and they're they're heading towards Jabim, and apparently they're almost to, towards Jabim. They're almost on the planet, which Jabim is where the other rebels are at, like where they've been helping out Jedi and stuff. And they want to find where the, the you know Reva wanted to find out where this main headquarters was, where they're helping Jedi, you know, go you know, get new names and get new lives. They want to find out where this location is. And actually it is Jabim because as we all know, Reva was trying to get that information from Leia, but Leia did not, I think, I think Leia didn't know that that's where everybody, that that's where their base is located. She wouldn't have known because she got, you know, she was captured. She wouldn't know that, you know, that was, they're trying to head towards Jabim or anything, but that's exactly where they were trying to head. And Obi-Wan was there when, and then he went to go save Leia, but then Leia and him, and of course, Lola, which the, you know, Reva put the tracker on Lola, where, and they were heading back towards Jabim, where all the rebels are and where they're trying to smuggle out and where they were smuggling Jedi to, I guess, to Jabim. I think that's where they were living. I don't know if they were taking them to Jabim and then putting them somewhere else, giving them new identities, or that was the place that they're, 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 they're just located. And that's the place that they smuggle them to is the home planet of Jabim. But that was really cool. in the fact of now, you know, the, the tracker did work on Lola. You know, I'm shocked that Obi-Wan and even Leia don't know that Lolo's acting, you know, you know, different because of the tracker. But, you know, at this point, you know, you know, he's like, you know, it's captain to the course for Jabim. And then we end up going to Jabim. We end up finding out Obi-Wan is now there with Leia. And, you know, everybody was waiting for them to pop up at, you know, at like to the uh, the quarters on Jabim. And, the, you know, when they said, OK, like, you know, the girl is safe, you know, we saved her. And as of right now, they kind of had to wait to use the transport ship to leave because they were helping, uh, you know, Obi-Wan with his mission on saving Leia. So right now they're trying to get the transport ship and get everybody off of Jabim. Um, not only for the fact because they don't know, you know, Vader's on its way and the Inquisitors are on its way, you know, since of the, they don't know that the tracker is on Lola. But, you know, he's like, okay, you know, he's like, okay, you help me, you know, get Leia. I'm going to help you guys get all together. Get, you know, get the transport ready so you guys can get off this planet. But Vader wants to, uh, you know, Reva to lock down the, you know, the uh, vicinity because he does not want them getting out. He wants to lock it down. And you know what I mean? And of course, Reva's like, if we lock down the facility, then, you know, they could last for days in there. They could last for weeks in there. We need to break them. And of course, Vader's like, they're not the ones we need to break, meaning that it's a flashback again to, you know, Obi-Wan, you know, and Anakin fighting at the Jedi Temple for training where, you know, you know, Obi-Wan said, you know, to Anakin, you know what I mean? You, you need to be patient and stuff. And he's like, you know, 
he, and he's like, oh, well, you have to be, you know, uh, you have to, you know, like, you have to attack, you have to be ruthless, you know what I mean? So you beat your enemy and that's why you're going to lose because, you know, you're all about patience and I'm all about, you know, attacking and being ruthless and that's how you beat your enemy. And it's like, you know, he thinks that Obi-Wan by him, by, you know, Reva locking down the facility in Jabim is going to, you know, trap them where it feels like, you know, it gets, you know, Obi-Wan on edge feeling like, you know, when Reva and the troops close in that, you know, he won't want them. He'll just automatically be like, I want to, I want to, I don't want anybody getting hurt. I'm going to you know, go out and, you know, get, you know, I'm going to, uh, you know, turn in myself. I'm going to, you know, go to Vader. I'm not going to want anybody else to get hurt. But no, Obi-Wan comes to the, to the point of like when the, when the, uh, when the, uh, the, the, the hangar doors close and we all know, of course, it's because of Lola. Lola ends up, you know, being, you know, controlled by, you know, Reva and is corrupted by the, 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 the uh, tracker that Reva put on Lola ends up closing the bay doors and ends up messing with the wires. And at this point, you know, they're trying to figure out a way to open up the, you know, the uh, hangar doors. So Leia, of course, you know, you know, says, okay, let me, you'll get me a ladder. I'll go up there. I'll fit into the vents because Haja, which we end up running into uh, Kumail's character, Haja, ends up being on the planet because now he's on the run from the, you know, emp empire. So that was really interesting at the fact of now he's on the run, like, of course, after he fought Reva. So now he's on the run. So that's why we got to see Haja again. And of course, you know, Haja is watching over Leia while Leia is up in the vents trying to figure out a way to open up the hangar doors. Well, of course, at this point, we have Obi-Wan wanting to, you know, uh, you know, he, well, before he ends up, you know, well, before, you know, he ends up looking over Leia, Haja, we get to the point now, like, that we have uh, Reva getting, you know, got, you know, sent out with the other troops because now she is Grand Inquisitor. She got, you know, a uh, promotion up in the ranks of now being the Inquisitor. She got what she wanted now. And now she got to, you know, she got sent out by Vader to go, uh, go do the attack on the compound. So that way it threatens them to the point where Obi-Wan comes out is we have, when we get to the point of now Reva's there with the troops and they're trying to get in, into the, the doors of the facility we end up having Obi-Wan feel like, you know, they want us to, you know, they want us to fight. They want us to do that. I won't put anybody in any danger. He wants me, l like, let me out or whatever. So they end up letting him out. And what ends up happening is, is when, you know, they go out, you know, Obi-Wan is trying to talk to uh, Reva and then he ends up talking to Reva saying, how did you know that, you know, Anakin was, you know, you know, Vader? And of course, he's like, puts it together, like, oh my god, you were a youngling, you were at the temple when he was in there, and then that's when she has the flashback to Order 66, when she's with her, her other younglings, her friends, her family, and they end up getting slaughtered by Anakin when he's walking in with, uh, with, the, with the troopers. So that was just an interesting moment that we got to see it from her perspective, that we got to see Anakin with the troopers walking into the Jedi Temple. So... And, you know, it's interesting, we, so we, we end up now knowing that those those younglings didn't survive. She was really the only one that survived, but she did get, you know, hurt by, you know, Anakin. But at the fact of, you know, she wasn't killed. She ended up getting, I guess, hit with the lightsaber, but she wasn't killed. She was just, you know, I guess, you know, pretending to be dead along with the other dead bodies of the younglings. And then she ended up escaping. Um, but I guess, um, you know, like the, at this point, you know, she, he and Obi-Wan ends up finding out that she actually is, this is all just a, a front. She's actually wanted to become, you know, they think, they thought that, you know, they uh, brainwashed her. So, you know, she would want to become, you know, a, a, an Inquisitor, but it's actually at the fact that she wanted revenge for, you know, uh, you know, Anakin killing her friends and things and killing her family. So that's why she's only like, that's why she's doing all these things. You know what I mean? At the fact that she wants to kill Vader. So Obi-Wan ends up finding out saying, you can't do this alone. I can help you kill Vader. I understand that that's why you're doing all this as revenge. And she's like, what makes me, what makes you think I need your help? And then we get to the point where like, you know, something's about to happen. She ends up breaking down the door and she, and she ends up getting in there. And that's what ends up happening. She ends up, you know, putting her lightsaber through her, thinking that she was going to stab Obi-Wan, but then she ends up breaking the door down, ends up breaking the seal on the, on the, the doors that they have closed trying to, you know, close off the facility because they closed off all the entrances. And, but even though Vader didn't want them getting away through the sky, because that's the only way they really can get away through the, the transport ship and through the hangar doors, there's other doors like that could have been opened through the entrance and they closed all the other entrance way doors to get out. Um, so that way, you know, the troopers couldn't come in and, you know, pretty much, you know, kill them all. That's where they had to block off all the other entrances. But, you know, I guess, you know, Reva had the troopers fire on the door so many times that weakened, 
it weakened, I guess, the metal of the door, and that's why she was able to shove her lightsaber through and then break the, you know, the the seal on on the doors, so that way she could get in. And of course, you know, Obi Wan sent her back, and I, I did think it was a fight that was going to happen, but they all just fall back, and you know, and Obi Wan said, you know, we could all stay in together and hold our ground until we get the doors open. Worse, they get in here, we can hold them off until Leia, you know, opens up the, the hangar door so we can get off the planet. And right now, Leia is still trying to do that. And, and uh, we have Haja looking over Leia while he was talking to Reva through the door, trying to, you know, you know, turn himself in. But of course, you know, she broke in and now at, the, at this point now they have to defend the, you know, the, the compound until, you know, Leia opens up the, the doors. And what shocked me is when Leia is trying to find the red wire so she could plug it back in so the, the hangar doors open, she doesn't see Lola until the last minute where like Lola does end up coming out trying to hurt Leia. But Leia ends up finding out that there is a tracker on Lola, ends up taking it off and now Lola is not back, you know, is good again. So... Lola's trying to help Leia, trying to find out where she needs to plug in the thing, and she, she ends up finding where she needs to plug in the port so the hangar doors open. And you know, you know, we end up finding to the point while she's trying to figure out where where the where the cord is, and it takes her a minute. We end up getting to the point where like you know they're being overrun, they're trying to get into the other section of where the hangar is because there's multiple sections of I guess of course where of the compound, and they're in the main they're in the main door of the compound, and they have to go through the tunnel to that where the hangar is. And they end up, you know, there, there's a door to close off the tunnel to get like to the main front door of the compound and to the hangar. And, you know, they're being so overrun right now, uh, you know, Obi-Wan and all the other rebels. We get to the point where like uh, we have uh, Tala sacrifice herself so that way Obi-Wan can get out of there and so they can, you know, and so they could buy Leia some more time. So they end up blowing up the tunnel. She ends up closing off the, the tunnel, ends up blowing it up with, you know, the troopers and Reva in there. Shockingly enough, I don't know how Reva survived, but she must have got out of there quick enough and the other troopers died. And, but, you know, we end up getting to the point where, like, Reva ends up coming back towards the end. Um, you know, like, we don't see her until towards the end of the episode when, you know, Vader ends up showing up after, you know, uh, we get the, uh, the doors open. We end up having Vader coming through, thinking he's going to stop the ship, which was amazing. Because when Vader walks in and the ship ends up taking off and we think it's the ship that all the rebels are on, after Leia ended up opening up the bay, the you know, the hangar doors and all, everybody's just running to the transport ship. When Vader ends up walking in there, I didn't know what he was going to do. But when he stopped it, I was so stunned. I was like, oh my god, they're really showing off Vader's true power. Like, holy shit. Like, out of all the other movies we've seen of Vader, and even in the cartoons, I have not seen that at all. They really showed us how powerful Vader is. And it's crazy because he's this powerful in the comics, but they're actually showing it here, which was really awesome that Dave Filoni and all them are really trying to show this off. Mainly, uh, you know, Deborah, Ch Deborah Chow, I think that's her name, or Deborah Cho. I think it's Deborah Chow. I, I could be getting it wrong. Sorry if I am. But, you know, she really is working together with Dave Filoni and John Favreau and all this on the fact of, you know, how to give us fans like how the how they give us fans what we really want with vader and, and we really want to see his true power and we did when he stopped that transport ship and and it's really struggling to to get out and then he ends up slamming it down the ground ripping out ripping the side of the transport ship off thinking that they're in there but it ends up being that there's another transport ship on the other side and they end up getting away and then we see reva come in and that was a very interesting moment where like reva well, you know, the Obi-Wan said to, you know, Reva through the doors saying, oh, I can help you. I can, you know, I mean, he's, he's distracted by me. Then that's when you can get the jump on him because, you know, he's just so focused on me. But it didn't work. He ended up sensing it. And we got a big fight between, of course, you know, uh, you know, uh, Reva and Vader, which was really cool to see Vader literally stopping every like, you know, uh, fight move that Reva was trying to put on him and end up you know, pretty much, you know, he ends up doing the final you know, uh, final, uh, act of, you know, killing Reva because he didn't kill Reva when she was a youngling, or at least he thought he did. But the thing is, is that he knew that Reva was that youngling. He knew that, you know, he, he said, you know, keep my enemies closer. That's why I brought you on. You think that I didn't know that you wanted revenge. You think I didn't recognize you. I did. So he did that all on purpose, you know, keeping your enemies closer. And then of course we end up seeing the actual Grand Inquisitor that we thought died, um, actually pop back up which we all knew, like, when we all thought he died, but then, you know, it came out where, you know, 
his species have two stomachs so that's when we kind of figured okay we're going to see him come back at some time and we do see the grand inquisitor pop back up and he ends up taking off the the pin um uh, you know the ranking pin that you know vader i guess that the, i think it was the captain put on you know uh reva because vader said you know gave uh reva the title of grand inquisitor ended up you know the grand inquisitor ended up taking off of reva ended up putting on himself and says you know we're gonna leave you here like where we found you before you know like uh, like because you know you're uh you know in the gutter where you belong so it ends up you know vader and you know uh the grand inquisitor end up walking away reva's there pretty much they're left to die and then we end up getting a moment where like where you know obi-wan earlier in the episode told haja to look over leia while everybody's running to the transport ship because you know at this point when he told you know haja to look over leia he gave uh haja his lightsaber his uh his uh what was it his lightsaber his communication device and also something else i can't remember what it was i think it was just those two those two things but then ended up you know telling him you know what i mean like oh just look over leia while he thought he was gonna you know you know turn himself in and you know he drops and everybody's running towards the transport ship he drops one of the things that he get that obi-wan gave to him he drops the communicator which the communicator had um um senator organa's uh you know transmission of him saying you know I, I, I like your silence is making me worried i hope you guys are okay i'm gonna i'm gonna take this as that i'm gonna go to tatooine and i'm gonna go protect luke just in case you know he found out about them so right now luke is in trouble so you know reva already knows oh my god that's why he came out here trying to protect leia and trying to save leia and that's why he was on tatooine trying to look over luke so she now knows that oh my god anakin had kids and they're trying to hide his kids from from him so it's like, I don't know what really what what this means because, you know, Obi-Wan senses that Reva now knows about, you know, Luke and now knows about, you know, of course, Reva essentially now knows about Leia on the fact that now the, the connection now, again, uh, Senator Organa talking to Obi-Wan about, you know, hoping you guys are okay. I hope she's protected. Now I'm going to have to go protect Luke now. Knowing that, oh my God, you know, Leia, I was on to something. Leia is Anakin's kid. Luke is Anakin's kid. And now that's why, you know, Obi-Wan is already with, you know, Leia. But now I need to go and go get, uh, you know, I need to go and go get Luke now. I don't know if this means that Reva is going to somehow, like, because she got a killing blow where I'm shocked that she'll be able to get on a transport ship or something or find one and get off the planet and go to Tatooine. But if she were to do that, what does that mean exactly? I don't know if this means she's going to fly there and try to maybe get Luke for herself. So that way, it, like, because she kind of assumes maybe that, like, oh my god, I don't want Obi-Wan training Luke because he'll turn out to be, like, his father. Maybe she wants to prevent something like that happening again. That's the only, that's the only way I was taking it now that she knows is that she doesn't want Luke to become how Anakin becomes on the fact of Obi-Wan training Anakin. So I think that's why she would go there just to get Luke out of there because she doesn't want Obi-Wan training Luke and doesn't want an Anakin 2.0 or Vader 2.0. So... I'm thinking that's the only way the writers are trying to tell us that. Maybe that's what she's going to do. I don't know. I was worried that when, you know, Haja dropped that communicator, Vader was going to find it. And I was afraid that that was going to affect, uh, you know, uh, what eventually is going to happen in New Hope. It would have uh, totally ruined New Hope if Vader would have found that, that uh, you know, the, uh, the communicator that had, you know, General uh, Senator Organa talking about it. So that would have just been like, terrible if vader found it i'm so glad he didn't you know it's interesting now that again uh reva found it and i told my sister maybe it's gonna be like a moment where like you know she's on her deathbed and you know and we have obi-wan and it's kind of like the version where like you know we have uh you know reva falling in uh you know in obi-wan's arms and says oh like is like is that so that's why you were here to protect the chosen one and whatever and and all that stuff like our, our new hope and stuff like that so is that is that why is that why you're here and like you know what i mean and 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 like and maybe she'll say uh to obi-wan do it right this time don't make it don't let him become anakin and don't make the same mistake again i don't know i'm just interested to know what the last episode will be next week it should be very interesting to, to see what happens next week i'm really i'm really excited to see what's gonna happen in the in, in the last episode i'm excited um but yeah guys let me know down in the comments below what did you guys think about this episode i'm really curious to know what you guys thought about this episode and what you guys uh, i'm really curious to know also what your theories are um you know go, going into the next episode and let me know where your theories correct about you know did you have an idea of like did you guys think also reva was one of the younglings did you guys see this coming where she wasn't like actually you know uh 
she wasn't actually for the Empire. She was actually trying to go against them and trying to kill Anakin on, on the fact that Anakin killed her family. Did you see that coming, that twist? I, I kind of saw it coming because I kind of knew that she was one of the younglings. And I, I kind of knew that she probably wanted revenge. That's why she was doing what she was doing. I kind of saw it coming. But um, yeah, I just really loved this episode. I'm, I'm really excited to see what the finale will be, be like. But yeah, guys, again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, put on those notifications, like this video. I'd love to have you guys here, a part of the fam, a part of the channel. We're all about spreading love, positivity, and motivation. And yet again, guys, we're almost to 600 subscribers. Right now, we're at 528, almost 600. My goal is to get to 600 before the end of June, but my initial goal is to get to 1,000 before the end of this year. I know we can do that again with your love and your support. I, I know we can do it, guys. But yeah, guys, that was the video. I hope everybody has a, a safe day a great hope everybody has a great day a safe day and i'll see you guys next time peace